So I uploaded my first YouTube video in the autumn of 2017, almost seven years ago. As you might expect, I got no views at all. Nobody cared about my new channel and my new video. Um, but I had put a lot of work into that first video uh, because I had to learn video editing and stuff to be able to make it. Uh, so I decided to do a bit of a push. I emailed the major websites dedicated to photography. And back then, in 2017, websites were still a big thing. Not like today, where nobody seems to actually read websites. Back then, sites like DP Review and Petapixel had millions of readers every month. Uh, I don't think they have as many readers today, but back then they, they did. So it would be a major thing to be mentioned in an article of one of these websites. I wrote a short article about my first video. The first video was about a macro rig that I had found on fellow Swedish macro photographer John Halmen's website. I basically just ordered the parts for his rig and made a video about how to make it. And uh, I want to especially thank DL Cade, who was an editor at DP Review at that time. And also Michael Sang, who was editor at Petapixel. I, I think he still is today. Uh, because they loved my video, they loved my article about it, and they published the article about the video on their website, which gave me thousands of views and thousands of subscribers. So I was so excited about this. It was so much fun to get an audience to my video. So I immediately started making more videos. I made a few videos and I wrote articles about each video and sent them to DLK at DP Review and to Michael Sang at uh, Petapixel and they published articles, uh, all of the articles. And I was so happy for that and still today I am so thankful to you guys because uh, without that push in the beginning, I don't really think that I would have continued with this YouTube channel. It's not a lot of fun to put lots of work into each video if you only have like 10 or 20 uh, views and nobody commenting. Uh, I think all the fun with YouTube comes from getting feedback from the audience. And after a few videos and a few articles in DP Review and Petapixel, I started noticing something interesting. When I published a new video, I immediately got lots of views and comments and subscribers without even writing an article about the video. It seemed like YouTube itself gave me lots of traffic to my videos. So I realized that I don't have to write articles about my videos anymore to get marketing for them. Uh, it seems like I get that anyway from YouTube. And I really want to thank YouTube for being such a great platform and for still being it today, seven years later. I hope you will never change YouTube because it's such a blessing to get nice promotion of your videos if they are good, uh, to get that all of that taken care of so we creators can focus on making more good videos. And also, thank you YouTube for being the only platform in the world that I know of that actually compensates creators in a fair way by giving us a good percentage of the overall revenue. I'm very thankful for that because it makes YouTube a great platform that I want to invest more time in. Uh, some of these newer platforms like TikTok uh, or Instagram Reels, they only give like a very, very small sum of money. And that is if you have like millions and millions and millions of views and they adjust that money to always kind of be a bit out of reach. Uh, whereas YouTube in contrast just compensates fairly. Like if you got 10,000 views and we made $100 off of that, then you get $55 or whatever the percentage is. Uh, and that feels very fair to me. So YouTube, thank you so much for being an amazing platform. And I hope you never change the core principles that makes YouTube a great place to publish work. 
And since those early days, seven years ago, not a day has gone by without me either working on my next YouTube video or thinking about my next YouTube video. And I'm not doing this because I have to or anything, I'm doing it because I love it so much. I've been working on videos every day since I started this channel, every day where, I'm w where I've been able to. Some weeks, of course, I've been sick or had other things I needed to do, so I wasn't able to work on videos. And those weeks, I never was as happy as I was during the weeks where I could work on YouTube videos. I simply need to make these videos to be the happiest I can be. So I'm gonna continue doing this as long as I feel that way. And I've been feeling that way every week for the last seven years. So I hope that I will continue feeling that way for a long time to come. And I've been documenting more than 90% of my photo walks as YouTube videos. So for all my favorite photos of all time, there is probably a YouTube video among the 344 videos that I've published where you can see me take that exact photo. And I really love that. I love the aspect of documenting something for years and years. Uh, it's a nice feeling, I think, to document stuff and to have like a log that you can look back at. And you, as a subscriber, you are the best company, I think, that an introverted photographer can have with him on photo walks. Because I get so much encouragement from hundreds of people every time I post a video. I get feedback, I get information, I get encouragement. Uh, and I get the social aspect of photography that I really want to have without all the negative things that can come with having lots of people with you when you're photographing. I, I love the feeling of actually being undisturbed when I'm out on my walk taking photos. So I think that documenting my photo walks as YouTube videos is the perfect way to get good companionship in my photographic journey. And the day that I will lie on my deathbed, looking back at my life, I know that I will think back at this YouTube channel as one of the highlights of my life, one of the very best things that have happened to me in my life, because I have enjoyed this so much and I really hope that I can continue to enjoy this so much for many, many years to come. Uh, this has truly been a blessing and I'm so blessed that a hundred thousand people have pushed that subscribe button, wanting to see more of me and my videos. That is truly an honor and I'm so happy and proud uh, of reaching 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who has ever commented, uh, who, everyone who has ever watched one of my videos. Uh, it's truly the blessing of a lifetime. Cheers. Now I'm gonna go and apply to get my silver plaque to hang on my wall. Uh, really looking forward to getting that. Thank you again.